Hello, and welcome back to another part of the Enshrouded Demo from the Steam Next Fest. I do not know why I am talking like this, but so be it. <laughs> uh, last time we kind of explored the world just a tiny bit, but we managed to meet our, up with our friend and Andre, who's stuck in the wall forever. I wonder if I can get him out of there. I wonder if I can <laughs> release him from his eternal torment. Um, yeah, we got him. And we also... Oh, it's in my items already. Um, we also made this little building for him. Let me just... Move that to here. There we go. Cool. All right. And yeah, I forgot I made this window that does nothing, but that's fine. <laughs> it's okay, Anders. Right, sorry, not Andre. Anders. I keep making that mistake because he looks exactly like the Dark Souls blacksmith named Andre. Um, so we did that, and now we're kind of just ready to explore the world for real. Uh, we need to do a couple t quests. We gotta clear the elixir well in the middle of the shroud. Uh, yeah, it says to fight against the shroud. Da, 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 da. And then to make a glider, we need some stuff. We need more shroud wood, I think, and some other things. Let's take a gander. Oh, and a grappling hook would be handy too. But so for a glider, we need one more animal fur. And then for a grappling hook, we need more metal scraps, which I don't remember how you get those. But either way, we'll, we'll figure it out. All right, I'll uh, I'll let you let you get to it, man. Oh, <laughs> oops, locked myself in the house. No big deal. <gasps> uh. All right, so it looks like actually, if we can find an animal fur before getting to the shroud we can probably just glide our way down there okay I want to get you yeah sweet all right let's make a glider then we can just glide down I mean, I'm really enjoying the just the general vibe and the idea behind the game. It's very cool. Item equipped. How do I use it? Oh, oh. Okay, so it's like a gliding suit, not like a glider from The Legend of Zelda. Oh, that's alright. Let's <laughs> let's see how this goes. Oh god, oh, no, oh, oh, not, okay. Nice. Oh. Oh god. Beautiful. First try each time. But now that we're, well, I guess if we destroy the elixir well soon, we can not, we don't have to necessarily worry about being unshrouded. Okay, that's the shield. B is dodge, that's right. Okay. Yeah, priority one is definitely destroying this well. Return beacons replenish your maximum time in the shroud. Stand near them to feel the full, the feel their effect. Oh, an archer guy. We've only seen like the machine gun man on the bridge. 
So I need to find the elixir well and destroy it while we're here. Oh. Oh, no. He almost immediately killed me. No! No! Oh, okay. That's not so bad. Move! Why did you not move? Oh god. Okay. Try, try that again. <laughs> At least I have, like, you know, infinite tries, essentially. At you. Okay, I have a couple purple berries. Another looks well is built on the backs of workers, slaving away. Do -do -do -do. The chasm spits fumes with every jab. Okay. I hope this foul air will not spread to Lone Thistle. Wonder where Lone Thistle is at. Let's let's look at the details a little bit more. Maximus says that okay, show on map. We're here. Do I have to... Like, the, the thing on the map points me to here. Like, I'm supposed to be, like, right here, so am I supposed to go below, maybe? Oh, maybe this is the elixir well. I see. Let's just keep going this way and see what happens. Well, first, let's probably re-up our shroud time. Hashtag shroud time. Um, num num num. All right. Quit running, guy. Oh! Are they slingshot boys? Nice try, Jack Clown. Is it in here somewhere? Oh, okay. Oh wait, that's a bug. Oh god. <laughs> I realized the error of my ways way too late.
Let's just go back this way after we get our stuff. Oh, he's a tough boy. <laughs> Not that tough. Yeah, I feel like I should be like right around here somewhere. If I were a guessing man. So notice I'm chugging. Let me try something here. Hmm. Hopefully that helps a little bit. I don't know, this is a very tricky thing to balance for some reason on this game specifically. Which, of course, you know, again, demo game. I'm sure optimization is, like, one of the many things that they plan on working on. Hmm. Do I need to go more this way? Oh. Oh, probably. It's probably somewhere down here, huh? Ooh. Haven't seen red down here before, so that's that's new. So we must be in the right direction. Okay. Gotcha. Oh, hello. A light bringer. Nope, wrong one. Felling axe. Oh, I thought that would completely clear out the shroud. I guess I need to get back up real quick. <laughs> I thought for sure I would be fine after that. <laughs> and shrouded, leave now. Hurry, snake. I think I have enough time to get to the... Oh, hey, a chest. Well, well, well. If only I saw that before I fought the guy, but that's all right. Oh, um. Oh, uh oh, uh oh. Now it's getting close. <laughs> there we go. Okay, cool. What's this thing? Cast spell. No ammo. I need ammo. I need magic ammo. Okay, I guess then we'll head back to Oh, I can't fast travel in the shroud. Interesting, interesting, interesting. So I had to leave the shroud. Uh oh 
Uh oh. Down I go. Hmm. How would I reach my home? Quit. Maybe there's some path over here. Gotcha. Well, it seemed like my club was doing more damage than the sword. But maybe that sword's more effective against non-shroud creatures. Nice. I'm unshrouded. Shroud off. Awesome, and Anders has more quests for us. Hey! Hey! Scaling an ancient spire. Ember vows change before our time. A race of ancients built towers to survey the land. The ancient spires. One is close by. Climb it and discover the world anew. Grappling hook. What are you waiting around for? Craft a grappling hook if you want to further explore Ember Vale. Okay. What do we need for a grappling hook? We need string and metal scraps. Which string is easy to make? I can make that... Via plant fibers. Now I guess we'll head towards the ancient spire. And hopefully find some metal scrap along the way. Some metal scrap. But first there's a wolf we got today. Nice try, Wolfie. Wolf job. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> uh, early. Well, not early. I, well, yeah, either way. Old Game Grumps has forever poisoned my brain. Um. Where Danny would ask for that all the time in the videos. He'd be like, Wolf job. And I guess because of the YouTube algorithm, they had to stop doing that. Or they people were just tired of. <laughs> tired of posting wolf job on the videos. Either or. I don't blame them, you know. <laughs> I bet you I could possibly glide my way that way. Glide my way. Do, 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 do. I got about halfway there. The glider is very... You, you, you glide down very fast on, on the glider. <laughs> Yeah, I thought it was gonna be more of a, a Zelda glider, but it's more of like a just cause just cause wingsuit. Did I not bring any torches with me? Oh my god, I'm a fool. How am I supposed to see stuff? Oh no. That's not what I wanted to do. But it worked out. Okay, good. <laughs> Um, okay. Nope. Those are explosive barrels. We learned our lesson the first time. Of course, I didn't bring my lock picks. I'll have to... I think I made one or two. I can't remember, but either way, I'll have to remember to bring them in the future. Nice. Just gliding, gliding right on the ground. Oh, 
Oh. Something happened. Maybe a storm? It's hard to tell. <laughs> I have yet to see anything that looks like an ancient spire yet, but... I'll keep checking along. Doing it for Anders. <laughs> it's so weird that, like, it's moving at such a janky speed. Let me try one more thing here. That's uh, still pretty... Still pretty jank. Eh. There's an enemy. Okay, I think it's moving a little bit better, but... Is this another elixir well? Nice. Here I'm worried about the graphics and things are like throwing magic and shit at me. I'm just like, eh. So I guess I gotta get to the top here. Which is mighty confusing. Makes me mighty confused. They can't attack you if you attack first. <laughs> uh oh. Oh no. Oh no. Oh my god, no, I'm gonna lose everything. No! Well, actually, that's okay, because I don't even know where I was at, really. Oh yeah, we're gonna grab some lockpicks. Also, for... Oh, never mind, I'm just looking at the... I had my whole... Sense of direction messed... Messed... <sighs> Sorry. Messed up. Nope. I want to take that. Give me that. I thought this was facing more like this way. Well, I mean, still, that's pretty... I don't know. Maybe we won't immediately glide down. We'll try to walk to it first. And at some point we'll pick up our stuff, but I don't think I was really missing much. I think just some, like, mater basic materials and stuff. Nothing crazy. Be a shame if you got stuck in a corner somewhere. Oh, would you look at that? The exact thing I was talking about. <laughs> Sorry. Just checking my messages. Making sure that my wife hasn't awoken from her nap yet. <laughs> She worked four days in a row, so she's pretty tired, so I don't blame her for taking a nap. I get pretty tired from just doing, like, anything around the house at all, so... <laughs> for her to be pregnant and working. She's a little trooper. She's a little trooper.
Hmm. I bet if I... Oh. I bet this is where you're supposed to use a grappling hook, but I don't have that yet, so... We'll have to make do. Yeah! Oh. I feel like I could definitely... Get over there somehow. Oh, God bless. Obviously with a grappling hook, but since I don't have access to that yet... We'll have to get a little creative. Hmm. Okay, that was not what I thought it was. Well, let's see what we can do over here, I guess. Do the classic Skyrim mash jump up the mountain thing. <laughs> we did it, and we didn't even have to mash anything. All right, come here. Oh, you're like a... No, I guess you're a wolf still, huh? But you have some kind of collar for some reason. Ah! There I go. Just <laughs> take my giant club and just like shove it in between the cracks there. That's what she said. No, I hate metal scraps. But uh, <laughs> I wish you could pick stuff up. I don't know if you can. Use a terraforming tool or explosives before explosive barrels can be thrown. Explosive barrels can be are detonated at a range. Can I throw this? Hmm. Wood logs. Oh, yep, pop up. More string. More metal scraps, hell yeah. Was that more metal scraps? I think I need like four metal scraps or something. What do we got? We got four. Okay, I think we have enough then. Oh. Whoa, wooden arrow. But I have no no archery. Argon. Take care with this new shipment from the valley. The merchant said it's highly volatile. Apparently the explosive explode if jostled or tossed about. Who would have known? Anyway, don't don't jostle them. Nope. Let me check the controls real quick. I wonder if you can aim. Ready ranged weapon, fire ranged weapon. Use snapping. I guess not. Nice. Whoa, a ring. Do you have ring slots? We do have ring slots. That's crazy. Nothing like a little health regen. Oh, that's the ancient spire. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm halfway debating on going back to 
home base to make the grappling hook, which might make our lives a little bit easier versus just chugging along and going straight for it. Well, actually, we could probably do it. it. Looks like there's a path there. I just had to go up. Yeah, let's go back to home base and make that real quick. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Whoa! Nope. Whoa! Yeah, I gotta move my phone. Since my mic likes to crackle every time I get like a text message or something. It's very annoying. Alright, grappling hook. We just need some strang. LeBron strang. So we need to pick up more plant fibers. Or do I have enough? <sighs> this is why I think there should be like an aiming mode for that so you don't just casually, uh, you know, you get where I'm coming from. Um, yeah. <laughs> Actually, yeah, let's make some bandages. Let's go get some plant fibers. Mash Y while you're walking through the forest. Pro tip of the day. All right, now we... Now we can make a grappling hook, yay! <laughs> Let me put this down just a little bit more, sorry. Okay. To flame and glory. <laughs> I get it, instead of, instead, of, instead of fame and glory, it's flame and glory. That's pretty good. That looks like I could make a helmet. Why not? Beautiful. I am a god. Okay. Now, let's go back this way. I woo this. I remember exploring this area on my first playthrough where I played for like a tiny bit and didn't really see anything worth worth of note. Worth of note. Hmm. Anything worth getting from what I can tell. There we go. I was like, I was trying to think of how to word that. <laughs> Whoa. Alright, then we'll go from the top of here and glide our way across, and we should be able to make our way up the the Tower of Power. Or the Ancient Spire, whatever. Either or. It's called different things in different locations. <laughs> the Tower of Power. All 
All right, ready? Steady. And go. All right, it looks like baddies probably live there, so we're just going to ignore all of that. Oh. As I was saying, we're going to ignore all of that <laughs> before I was rudely interrupted. I was kind of excited for the grappling hook because I thought it would be something like you can freely use, but it seems like there's just certain points and spots where you can use it. It's not necessarily like a a grappling hook in the old-fashioned sense. Isn't this where we got the Anders? Pretty sure it's the same place. Gotcha, Wolfie. Now this says that the road is blocked, but I wonder if I could... Yeah. You don't even really need a grappling hook for anything. <laughs> I get access to a, a crossbow gun? I would like one too, please. Man, how do those rocks and pillars stay up in the air? What is this, a magic world or something? Is there magic afoot? Ooh, another skill point. Nice. Perform by to I mean you, you've overpowered K. Okay. I can just increase attributes too. Hmm. Well, hey, that's pretty cool. These spires stretch to the firmament and deny entry to those who are unworthy. The ancient breed enters, but I never see them leave. I have two theories. The ancient spires are somehow connected to one another, and the silent ones travel between them as they please. The ancient spires serve as a burial site similar to the flame shrine. The ancients store all knowledge of the land and the flame here when they leave the mortal plane. One way or another, I cannot enter. When I step on the ornate plate, nothing occurs. What a shame. Hmm, ornate plate. I wonder what he's talking about. Excuse me, sir. Do you know anything about an ornate plate? Like, I'm looking around. I just can't seem to find what would be an ornate plate. Hmm. I wonder. 
I mean, there's this giant shining plate in the middle of the, the level here, but I don't... I don't know if that's it, you know? Let's explore a little bit. And yeah, nothing out here. Hmm. Anything out here? No. Anything out here? Weird. I mean, I guess this has to be it. Huh. Whatever. Whoa, whoa, whoa. This looks to be some kind of dungeon area. You'll love to see it. Yeah, chaos. And there was items in there. There were items in there, nice. You'd love to see it. Some doors are locked, but can be opened by finding and pressing the correct button. Oh yeah, that's pretty cool. You can open doors with buttons. Wild stuff. Wild stuff. Ooh, two chests. Another magic staff that I can't use because I do not have magic ammo. Whatever that might be. Oh yeah, I need to bring a torch for next time. There's something over here I missed. I wonder if there's like some kind of stairs or something. Too bad I can't see anything. And you can probably see even less than what I can see. So <laughs> Let's see here. Yeah, some doors are open by pressing buttons. Wild stuff, wild stuff. Will this bring me further back up, or will it bring me back down? Survey says, back down. Okay. Hmm. Like, I have to be missing something. Is there anything in my journal that says, hey, the blacksmith says sailing, scaling the ancient spire. Okay, I'm inside the ancient spire, so that's not helpful at all. Is there like a grappling hook thing I'm missing? There is a. That's a grappling hook thing, of course. <laughs> nope. Hold on, I gotta get my stamina back up. All right, that was not enough. We got to, I guess, start from higher up here. There we go. So that would be like the hard lock for the grappling hook. <laughs> I can't 
can't see anything, but I can see shiny stuff, and that's that's the important part. Definitely need to remember a torch. Kia! Whoa, 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 whoa! Hmm. Interesting. That was pretty close. I, that, I, I, that was dangerously close. What's that say? I thought I saw some kind of prompt. I guess we'll just see where this goes. Wah. Got lucky there. <laughs> Oh no, it got me. Well, these dungeons are definitely like Zelda inspired, that's for sure. Which, hey, hey, that's pretty good. I wonder if I can just go around, it looks like. I oh, can't open that. Yeah. Let's see. Oh, that probably opens that one door, huh? Just getting so many goodies from this place. You know, it helps that, like, every other vase has, like, an item. Let's go in here. Oh, that was close. This place just has so many items. It's crazy. Oh. Okay. Um. I guess that's a good spot to to stop the game. Uh. <laughs> it just crashed on me. That's bound to happen. And um. Actually, let's let me. I'm gonna load it up real quick and see if it pops us back where we were at. Hopefully, if we can continue where we're left off at, um, we'll finish that spire. But generally, I like to keep these episodes right around an hour, and we're getting there. It was just crazy. It came out of nowhere. I was just, <laughs> I was just minding my own business. Oh my god. That's why I keep peeking. Okay. Um, yeah. Well... I wonder if I can fast travel there. I 
does not seem to be the case. Well, okay. Um, I guess that will do it for this part of Enshrouded. I think we'll just call it there on Enshrouded. I think I kind of get the idea. Um, I'm sure there are some other uh, bigger YouTubers out there that have fully explored this kind of game and know a little bit more about what they're talking about than I do. So I think that'll do it for Enshrouded. Uh, gut feeling about the game. I think it's very cool. I think it's uh, it's got like a cool a bunch of cool concepts going for it. I think it's worth checking out, and I'll probably pick it up. Maybe get on sale or something. I'm not like a huge like these survival crafting world things. There was a time and place where I, I was super into that kind of stuff and in into those kind of games, but they don't really strike my fancy anymore. But I'm sure there will be some. Uh, I, I think in Trav's going to be a big game. I think there's going to be a lot of uh, stuff coming for it. So uh, thank you for watching this video. And uh, I'll see you next time. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Goodbye. <laughs> um, okay. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> okay. I'll, uh, I'll see you later. <laughs> okay. Bye bye.